Rual Ahmed's story has been captured in a recent feature film called Road to Guantanamo. What is your name? Rual Ahmed. Where are you from? Tipton, England. You're from England? In 2001, Rual Ahmed was captured by the Northern Alliance in Afghanistan and handed over to American forces. Several weeks later, they were flown to Guantanamo Bay, arriving there soon after David Hicks. The flight took at least 24 hours. Throughout our journey, we had no food, no water, and we were not allowed to go to the toilet either. If you had to urinate or defecate, uh, you know, you have to defecate or urinate on yourself. You're now the property of the U.S. Marine Corps! Rual Ahmed spent the next two years in Guantanamo. He says he was frequently beaten and often placed in solitary confinement. I think the best way I can describe Guantanamo Bay would be you're in constant fear of your, of your life. It's like a zoo, being in a zoo. Um, you would be on 24-7 lockdown. And the only reason you would come out is either for a shower or recreation. You're going to tell me right now, you're going to tell me the truth. Huh? Rual says he was interrogated more than 100 times and accused of attending an Osama bin Laden rally in Afghanistan. These interrogations regularly involved so-called stress sessions, being chained to the floor of a chilled room for hours on end, forced to listen to deafening music under strobe lights. It continuously repeats itself and it's so loud that you mean the position anyway and you know it's unbearable in that position and I think it's the combination of all the stress you're going through it actually makes you hallucinate. Rual claims that David Hicks has also endured many of these sessions. The two got to know each other quite well. His cell was exactly opposite my cell so we would we couldn't see each other because there was a barrier in between us but we could hear each other clearly um, so every night for six months we, we spoke. Rual disputes the American claim that Hicks is a dangerous terrorist. He's just like a regular guy, you know, a normal person, you know, just like myself. His mental health is deteriorating um, rapidly. I was there for two and a half years and I just about caught with it and he's been there for five years. And, you know, he was, I was kept in a, in a, in Camp Delta where I could um, talk to other neighbor, my other fellow detainees. But David's been isolated um, from, from the regular camp and he's been taken to a different camp and there's nobody there and you know to be locked up in a, in a, in a cage um, with other detainees is one thing but to be locked up in a cage on your own is, is, is another thing. In March 2004 the British government secured the release of Rual and two other British detainees. Under interrogation in Guantanamo all three confessed to having attended the Bin Laden rally in Afghanistan. It was Britain's MI5 who later proved the confession was false because they'd all been in England at the time. They were told the world that we was um, terrorist hardcore Al-Qaeda, uh, we was killers. But we, we came back to England and, and people have realised that the Americans are wrong. I would urge the Australian people to urge your Prime Minister to bring back David Hicks back home. You know, he shouldn't be rotting in, in Guantanamo.